what is going on everybody and welcome back to mad detailing today's video is on a ford us on it's a newer version of the fusion but yeah taking a look at the outside it is not too bad at all but it's moving on to this interior and we have some craziness going on in here this vehicle is a repossession so i have absolutely no idea what happened to this car and it's honestly probably better that way but either way this car has some insane stains and the amount of food and trash everywhere is absolutely disgusting Honestly, I'm not a fan of this car because as soon as I opened the doors in my shop, like a thousand flies came out of this car. So we were fighting flies the entire detail. But as you guys know here at Mad Detailing, we're gonna make this vehicle look absolutely brand new again. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I post brand new videos every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And moving on to cleaning the wheels, I'm using our Extreme APC on the tires and fender wheels. And for the wheels, I'm using our Mad Detailing Acid along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. Before I can move on to any type of contact wash, I'm going to quickly give this vehicle a nice rinse with the pressure washer and then I will foam the entire vehicle down with a foam cannon and our mad detailing super blue soap before moving on to a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber wash mitt. After getting the vehicle washed, it's time to move on to playing it. For this, I'm using our mad detailing clay lube and a synthetic clay bar. I know sometimes you guys will see me clay it right after I wash it, or sometimes I'll clay it right before I polish it. It's really up to you when you want to do it. It's just pretty much a personal preference and how I'm feeling at the time. But since the car was wet, I just decided to go ahead and get the clay barring out of the way.
After the exterior is washed and dried, it's time to move on to clean the interior. The first thing I'm doing is getting these seats removed and then I can move on to removing all this nasty and decaying trash. And then I can move on to a nice pre-vacuum before getting the carpet pulled out of the car. And moving on to the seat extraction, I'm using our Extreme APC diluted 10 to 1 in a Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor. And I'll have to repeat this process many times because these seats are pretty bad. And then you guys will see me go back with a rag and I'm actually using lacquer thinner because some stains would just not come up. So I had to repeat that process on every single seat. And I don't know how long these seats took, but it was a good probably five or six hours. And then one of them dried and then it came back. So I had to redo that seat again. So yeah, these seats were not fun to say the least.
I always get a lot of comments, people asking what products I use. And the simple answer to that is we manufacture our own car detailing products here in Sanford, Florida. So if you guys would like to try any of our car detailing products, you guys can head over to www.maddetailingusa.com or you guys can click on the link in the description and try our detailing products today.
Moving on to cleaning the interior panels of this vehicle, I'm using our Mad Detailing Extreme APC, following that up with a Boar's Hair Detail Brush, then a steamer, and then I will use a microfiber to mop it up, and then I will also use compressed air to make sure I blow out all the tight cracks and crevices. That way, when I walk away later on, the nastiness and degreaser doesn't seep out of the panels, and I have to go back and wipe each panel again.
Since I already clayed the vehicle at the very beginning, I can now move on to polish it. For this, I'm using our Rupes 21 polisher, a medium cut orange pad. I'm using HD speed, it's made by 3D. It might be 3D speed now. But this product is absolutely amazing if you're just looking for a quick polish. This is not gonna be a full correction, but it's gonna remove a lot of swirls and scratches. It's gonna leave behind a nice gloss and a nice protection.